when we're creating colors for a print job in InDesign, we need to use CMYK color. I've come to Adobe Color. I've got a palette. If you look down in the bottom left of the palette, the color mode is RGB, RGB, and then brightness. I'm going to go over, notice that I'm saving it um, Art 141, Art uh, Pentagram RGB, and I'm going to click Save. Now, next, I'm going to go to the color mode and I'm going to change it to CMYK. And I'm going to change the name to CMYK. And I'm going to click Save. And so those colors have now been saved to my um, to um, to Adobe, and I'll be able to access them in InDesign. Now we're in InDesign. And you look in your CC libraries, and you can see I've gone to my section Art 141 type. And I can view, you'll see that here's my pentagram CMYK and my pentagram RGB. I'm going to, and if I scroll over them, you can see that it's actually giving me CMYK values here and RGB values here. And actually that was a little surprising because I wasn't sure that was gonna work, but it does. So I'm going to add theme to swatches. There's that. And then I'm gonna go back to here. And I'm also gonna add this theme to the swatches, okay? So I now have CMYK swatches. And if you'll notice here, you get the CMYK colors. Here we have RGB values. You'll notice that in some cases they're much brighter than the CMYK values. And we have an indicator over on the right that those are RGB colors. And I'm going to just quickly create some blocks. This one and I duplicate that. And you can see there's some saturation differences between the colors. So what we want to do is we actually want to take these colors and we, since we're working with a print document, we actually want these colors to be our um, CMYK as well. So to do that, I double click on this color and it brings up the swatch options. And the color mode is RGB. I can take this, click on it, and go to CMYK, and you'll see it converts it. And I click OK. What's interesting is that the color conversion, in fact, I'm going to undo this for a second. Um, let's just take this experiment a little farther. I'm going to take if I can see, I'm going to take and duplicate. Do 
duplicate swatch. Okay, so those are all duplicated. So I'm going to take and assign these to the duplicate. I'm so I'm just a little curious now. So this double click, go to CMYK, click OK, double click, change RGB to CMYK. RGB to CMYK. RGB to CMYK. And RGB to CMYK. What's interesting to me, so this doesn't duplicate at all. What's kind of interesting is that converting uh, converting an Adobe color does not seem to give us as good a conversion as converting them in InDesign for the most part. I mean, we still have a problem here. Um, black is set to zero, cyan is set to 60. Preview. Yeah, see if we do that. That's probably as near as we're going to get. Okay. So. Anyway, um, and so this is what you'd want to do with your colors is you'd actually want to, apparently you want to bring them over from Adobe Color as RGB colors and then double click on them, convert them to CMYK in InDesign. And that seems to be the best way to, um, to create your colors. You don't want to leave them as RGB because you can see that they'll look on your screen like this. And when you get them, when you send them to print, they'll come back looking like this. And if you've shown them to a client and the client is expecting the colors to be all snappy like this, and they see something like that, they're going, or something like that, they're, they, may, um, they may say, that's not what you showed me. I'm not gonna pay for it. Um, or I'm going to require you to pay for some of it or something like that. So anyway, that is, and then we would go back here. I'm gonna delete those. I'm gonna delete these RGB colors. I can also go up to my swatches palette. And what's something is useful to do is to select all unused. You'll see all those get selected, all those got selected, and I can hit delete, and it'll delete all my unused colors. And so I only have the colors that I actually picked. 